Hello and welcome to some more Tesla news. This is Patrick, you're watching Tesla Trip. Oh, everything's getting so exciting. <laughs> so Model 3, the performance package on the Performance Model 3 has dropped $5,000. So now it's just automatic if you get a Performance Model 3, it comes with the performance package. So the top end one costs $5,000 less. And if you just purchased a Model 3 with a performance package, uh, the performance edition with the performance package, you can either get a $5,000 refund and cancel your free supercharging or just keep your free supercharging for life. So that, that kind of puts a price on the supercharging for life, $5,000 apparently. <laughs> I don't know, there was a big old thing on it about Twitter, a lot of arguing and stuff, and Elon left Twitter for a few days afterwards. But, you know, anything that makes the car more affordable, I'm down with, and being able to, you know, kind of make things right for people that have previously bought the car is just awesome. You don't see a lot of companies doing that. Elon is the president and CEO of Tesla now. He's no longer the chairman. He said he removed all his titles off, like, Twitter and websites and things to see if anybody noticed, and he didn't really make a big deal. He just legally has to have one title. The CEO, president of the company, but not the chairman of the board because of the filing thing. They had the quarterly announcements. The Model 3 became the best-selling car in the United States in terms of revenue and the fifth best-selling car in terms of volume. They mentioned about the safety of like all the vehicles really, but particularly the Model 3, and explained how Tesla works really hard to go above and beyond what the NCAP rating system is for real-world safety on their vehicles. And they actually go out of their way to find the weakest point of the vehicle, you know, make it the strongest, and not just the points of the vehicle that are going to be tested. Elon says they kind of anti-game the system, and that a lot of people think that, you know, safety in vehicles is boring, but not Tesla. They find it a challenge, and they make it fun, and they, you know, they try and be the best at it. So it's, it's pretty cool how safe the Teslas are, and people are always posting about wrecks they've been in, and how they think they wouldn't have survived if they were in another vehicle. That being said, you know, these are huge, fast cars, and not everybody survives a horrible wreck. That's just the nature of it. But anything that they can do to lessen that probability of being seriously injured in a wreck, the better. And autopilot is one of the things that they keep saying is going to make that number go down dramatically. And they keep showing statistics of that in the reports that Tesla has been publishing. There's about half, you're about half as likely to get into an accident with autopilot enabled versus disabled because you got cameras all around you and with this version 9 it's really amazing like it, it can the camera can see all around it and it can do a lot of things in terms of braking or moving when there's an accident that it can see that you can't even see that's about to happen so that's even better than you know protecting you once you get in a wreck is preventing you from getting in a wreck and the full self driving is coming along pretty nicely they mentioned that the the hardware 3 design is done the silicon's complete and that they're putting it in 2.0 vehicles, Model S's and X's, to test it out. And they've got neural nets that are much more complex and working very well. They just can't deploy them out to the current fleet because it doesn't have the comp computational power. Elon was talking in an interview with Recode. They think they're the only company next year that's going to be putting out a full self-driving solution to the mass market. Nobody else is close. Or, you know, at least, you know that's what Elon says. <laughs> and Elon time's always been way off. But it does sound like they'll probably start putting the new hardware in vehicles in six months. My guess would be when they reveal the Model Y. And then they'll probably do the retrofits as soon as the software is complete that allows a certain level of full self-driving. Because the regulatory is probably going to take another year, maybe two, or, or longer. Who knows? But, man, the way that version 9 works with the drive on nav, I still haven't got it yet. Not only are there videos of it driving and going around slow traffic pretty much automatically just asks for a confirmation uh, but it does exit from one freeway to another freeway without touching anything and then it'll actually come off and stop at an intersection so that's a big deal it stops at the first intersection at the end of the the nav um, the drive on nav it, en it ends at the first intersection which is cool that means it's recognizing stop signs or intersections or some something to know it needs to stop um, that's that's a big deal. It's something we've been waiting on for a long time. That's means we're on our way to the full self-driving. And then Elon also was 
talking a lot about the new truck. He says it's the most exciting project that he's working on, and he's making it just for him, basically. And he doesn't care if people don't really like this version of it. He's going to make it anyways. He says it's going to be futuristic, cyber, cyberpunk, something out of Blade Runner. Oh, he says that this is heart-stopping. It stops my heart. It's like, oh, it's so great. <laughs> he said only if only a small number of people like the truck, then he guess they'll probably make a more conventional truck. But he says it's going to be a big, heavy-duty truck. This isn't going to be like just some little dinky electric version of a small truck. This is going to be like a, you know, a really large, big truck. He talked about having titanium in it and making... I can see it being like what they're talking about with the Roadster, where the new Roadster, he wants to make something that's like the best sports car, period. So I, they're probably going to try and do the same thing the truck. Like, this is going to be like the best truck period. It'll have like the longest range and the best towing capacity and the, you know, all, all these things that they, all the specs, by the specs, it'll probably be phenomenal. But it might look a little weird because Elon wants it to look like, um, you know, some kind of futurist, futuristic thing, which I, I'd be cool with if it looks like, you know, the, the other Teslas. But, you know, a lot of people may want something that looks more like a Ford F-150. And they said, you know, if that's, that's fine, they'll, they'll make one of those too if people really don't like this version of it. My guess is it'll it'll come out at the same time as the Y prototype or, you know, I don't know, maybe six months later. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for watching so much. Let me know what you guys think below. Um, please subscribe, click the notifications. Let me know that you guys are, are watching. And if you're ever in Wyoming, check out my little company, Wild West EV. We're placing charging stations in the most remote locations. Currently, Central Wyoming and Fremont County over in uh, Dubois and Cody, Lander, Riverton, Hudson, and soon to be uh, Rock Springs and a few other locations. Uh, WildWestDB.com. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.